back to my youtube channel it's me your girl Oni Udoye. so in today's video i am going to be showing you the types of feed to give to your pigs especially growers okay this particular feed mix is for growers growers are pigs of three months okay so i'm going to be showing you how to mix them i'm also going to be showing you quantity you're going to need in mixing them okay so that is just what i'm going to be showing you in this video so please don't skip this video watch to the end please if you're yet to like this video please like this video okay and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning to watch my videos if this is your first time tuning in thank you so much for stopping i really really appreciate here i talk about animal farming pig and fish okay and um if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe like and share to your family and friends okay so let me get straight into this video i don't want to make it so so long this is about 500 kg of um the mixed feed and this particular kind of feed is for growers okay so if you have growers in your farm use this and thank me later Use this and thank me later. So if you look closely, you will see that this one here is already completely mixed and we're about to feed them to the pigs. While this one is not yet completely mixed, like some parts are still white, some are bl um, black, okay? That's just to show you that it's not yet, it has not yet blended and it's not completely mixed. So you have to mix them some more, like some ingredients there as just like still the way we it is not yet um mixed completely okay so in this video i will show you the ingredients to use and the percentage you would need to add per 100 kg so please listen carefully and do the math if you would be making anything above 100 kg please don't try to skip so you won't get yourself confused okay please don't try to skip and you already know that some parts are mixed and some are not mixed okay so before we go on please click on the subscribe button to subscribe like and share this video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always returning to watch my video and also contact me on facebook at real only you do you for any business inquiries okay so let's get right back into the video so the first on the list is known as palm kernel cake okay popularly known as pkc so when you hear a farmer say pkc just know this is what they are talking about okay so this is how it looks and um palm kernel cake is a byproduct of palm kernel oil extraction meal okay it is added up to 40 percent in pig diets it is rich in vitamin a and fiber too okay it helps in preventing constipation in pigs and it also promotes protein balance for pig growth okay so you can get this in any um, um local market okay so that is the first on the list so let's go to the second one so the next one is what we know as cassava meal okay so cassava meal is an excellent source of energy because of its digestible carbohydrates mainly in form of starch okay it is preferred to corn okay because of its cost effectiveness and it is um, added about 35 kg in a 100 kg of pig diet okay so this one you can use this instead of corn because you know corn now is expensive so you can use it instead of corn okay and um, it is more affordable than getting corn okay so you add this um, in every 100 kg of pig diets you add this of about 35 kg okay so now let's so the to... next item is what we know as ground nut seed coat okay so this is how it looks like so in case you're going to buy this is how it looks like ground nut seed coat okay so this is good in fiber content and it is added about 5 kg in a 100 kg of pig diet okay so in every 100 kg of pig diet you add about 5 kg okay so if you are doing more than 100 kg you know you just do the math you do the math and you know what to add okay so add about 5 kg of this in your pig mix whenever you're making a 100 kg and also you can see this in local markets or anywhere they sell um animal 
animal feed okay you can see this just it's not you can it's not um hard to find you can always see this okay so let's go so the next on the list is what we know as pent green okay so in case you hear um some farmers call the same malt just know that's the same thing we're talking about okay so spent green they are also relatively rich in fiber which makes them suitable okay for ruminants feed concentrates that's rich diet but less so for pigs they are fed up to 10 percent in their diet okay so you have you put this in 10 percent okay so for every um 100 kg you put this 10 kg okay you add this 10 kg for every 100 kg okay so don't forget so when you hear um when you hear malt just know it's still this thing you're talking about it's still this um ingredient we are talking about okay so let's move to the next one so before we proceed please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video okay and also turn your post notification bell for new updates so the next on the list is soya beans okay so soya beans is a source of supplemental protein good source of energy and contains much digestible and metabolizable energy as corn it is added to pig feed at 15 kg per every 100 kg of pig feed okay so since we in this video we made a 500 kg we added um 75 kg okay so don't forget per, per 100 kg you're adding this you're adding 15 kg per 100 kg so if you're going to make anything above do the maths if you're going to make anything below do the maths okay so that is just that so let's move to the next ingredient so the next item was what we know as lysine okay now this is how it looks like so in case you don't know this is just what it looks like lysine okay so with this lysine in pig diets other amino acid can easily combine correctly to form muscle protein okay it is added 100 gram to 100 kg of feed so if you're making 100 kg of feed you add 100 gram of this lysine to it if you're making above you you do the math okay if you're making below you also do the maths okay so don't add less and don't add more than okay so in every 100 kg you're going to be adding 100 gram of this lysine to the mixture okay so now, so the last but not the least is salt okay now it is an essential for immune system functions okay sound reproductive health and for Tastes. It is added to about 1 kg in every 100 kg of pig diet. Meaning if you're making 100 kg of pig diet, you add 1 kg. If you're making above, you do the maths. Okay? If you're making below, you also do the maths. Okay? So that is all for the ingredients you'll be needing. So the next thing to do is you, I take all those measured ingredients and pour it in the place or the room or wherever you want to turn it. Okay? So that is what I'm going to be showing you right now. So these are all the measured um, feed I'll be using. Okay, this is everything, all the ones I've measured. So in this video, I am making 500 kg, not 100 kg. So that's why it's this much. So I'm making 500 kg of um, this pig feed. So I've measured everything and this is it here. So let me show you how I'm going to be doing it. So here you'll be getting little of everything and be pouring it where you, wherever you're going to turn it, okay? So here you have the granite seed coat and your spent green, okay? So you pour little of your granite seed coat, then pour um, spent green, like anyhow you want to do it, okay? It doesn't have, you don't pour this before this, okay? Any one you want to pour first. And why you're doing it this way is so that when you want to turn it, it will be easy to turn, like it will be easy to mix, you can be able to mix it very well. It will be easy to mix very, very well, okay? Don't just pour everything once. Like, for example, you take your granite seed coat, you pour it once. Then you take the other one, you pour it once. Don't just pour it once like that, okay? Just little by little. 
okay just little by little so as you can see here we just added little of 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 the cassava um meal we just added little and now we want to add um, the soya bean okay so we just be adding little by little on top of each other so when mixing it will be very easy to mix so that is just what is happening here but if i lay down and i play dead and i stay dead maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my bed think you're something out of my nightmares standing right there but if i lay down and i play dead and i stay dead then will you get bored of killing me silhouettes of you are like a taunt never really noticed what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my head So now the next thing you have to do is You have to turn like you have to turn it, mix it very well, break the lumps, like all those lumps and um, mix it properly. Okay, so that's what we are doing here. And um, thank you if you've watched to this stage. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, um, drop your comments in the comment section. If there's any question you would like to ask me, drop your comments in the comment section. And if you have um, any business inquiries, make sure to send me a message on my um facebook page at real only okay so this is how it is this is how it will be this is how it's done so just mix it properly okay yeah mix it properly Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm So this is about 500 kg of um, the mixed feed And this particular kind of feed is for growers, okay? So if you have growers in your farm, use this and thank me later Use this and thank me later So we just had to feed them quickly because they are so hungry and this one is the finished product like we've mixed this one we've also mixed this one but not so well we still have to do it we still have to mix it one more time before we package it okay before we package it so if you have any more questions to ask me please go ahead and ask feel free to ask me if you need to consult me on anything regarding pig farming um fish farming send me a message on my facebook channel real only udoye or my instagram only udoye okay just reach me there if you need my consultation just reach me there and um i would help you with anything you need to know so after mixing the feed, the next thing to do is to pack it, okay? So just get sack bags and pack everything into the sack bag. So it will be very easy for you. If you want to feed the pigs, you could just, you know, go to the sack bag and take the quantity that you feed to your pigs, okay? So this is like the end. This is just the end of the video. I hope you understand now what to do and the ingredients to use. Okay. Subsequent times, I'll I could um make another video and show you what you need to give to your um um piglets. Okay, the kind of food to feed your piglets and the kind of food to feed um your your um adult pigs. Okay. So um just. 
stick to this channel stay tuned and i'll do all of that um some other time and if you have questions don't fail to ask me and um drop it in the comment section if you have any question or you want to speak to me directly um just go you can come to my um dm on facebook at truth on you do and um um drop your question drop your question and um also any business inquiries okay so that will be all for now and um if you're yet to subscribe please don't hesitate to subscribe okay and like this video and share this video okay so that'll be all for now and i'll see you guys in my next video bye